Let's get Java for Minecraft. Now, if you don't have Java, your file probably won't look like this, but to get started, we should make sure we uninstall any versions of Java we have. To do that, go ahead and open up Apps and Features from the Start menu, and in here we can search for Java. You want to click on any versions you have and click uninstall. That way we're making sure we're getting the correct version. For example, Minecraft just switched to Java 21, meaning you now need that to run different files and folders and things like that when it comes to Minecraft. So keep that in mind. You may have Java 17 and your stuff might not be working because you now need Java 21. Nonetheless, now that we've uninstalled this, watch. If I try to open this, right click open with, there's no Java. And if I try to double click on it, it's just going to be like, what do you want? What do you want me to do? Same thing. We're running this Minecraft server, right? If we try to start the server jar, it's not going to work because we need Java to get started. You'll need to download it. So go to the description down below to this. This is our in-depth text guide on getting Java. It goes through everything you need to know to get Java set up and running, it goes through FAQs, all of that stuff. It's really in-depth and worth checking out. The video you're watching here will actually be up at the top. Once you are here, go ahead and click on download Java 21. This is now needed for Minecraft as of 1.20.6 and worth getting because, well, it's going to be used for probably years into the future. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and select Windows under Java Development Kit 21, and then you want to find the x64 installer. Click the link next to it here and it will go ahead and start downloading Java. You may need to keep or save the file. While it's downloading, have a mess from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ slash SGH to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server and truly customize the server any way that you want. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So if you want to start your Minecraft server, do it the simple way. At the breakdown to XYZ slash SGH, first link in the description down below. Nonetheless, with Java downloaded, we can go ahead and minimize our browser and what we want to do is install it for me I know it's going to be have downloaded the installer to our downloads folder here we can go ahead and drag and drop that to our desktop just to make installing it easier then go ahead and double click on it once you double click on it you're going to get a setup window like this where you can just click next click next again and then it's going to install they don't have to even check any boxes or anything like that and then click close and it's that easy. You can now delete the Java installer you downloaded and watch this. Forge, that wasn't working before. You can right click and open that with Java, click OK, and it will open. Now, in some cases, you should be able to double click this as well and it will open. It's going to work for me here. As you can see, double clicking worked. But if it doesn't for you, it may be because you need to run the jar fix. It's super easy to do this. All you've got to do is go to this link in the description down below. Once you're here, scroll down and click download jar fix and the file will begin downloading. You may need to keep or save it, but it's 100% safe to do that. Once it's downloaded, it's going to be in your downloads folder. So we can come in here to our downloads folder, double click on it, and instantly it will come up and say the jar fix has been successfully ran and you're good to go. Everything is now pointing to Java 21, which is what we want to see. So there we go. Now you'll be able to double click things like double clicking at this server.jar here and starting your Minecraft server. So there you have it. That's how you can get Java for Minecraft. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.